Tropical Storm 14W continues to organize in the Philippine Sea. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for the latest updates. After a hectic storm of uh, what we called Hinamno, with another tropical storm in the Western Pacific, Tropical Storm 14W, we just uh, updated to a tropical storm earlier this day, currently at 17.2 degrees north and 134.6 degrees east, with winds of 40 miles per hour and a central pressure of 1,003 millibars. It is moving west northwest at 7 miles per hour and is uh, posing a significant threat towards the uh, Miyakojima and Yeyama Islands again as um, Minamno struck them a week ago. Currently the wind fields are organizing themselves. However, the distances, it is 12,032 kilometers away from Okinawa, 12,036 from Miyakojima, 1,346 from Ishigaki, 1607 from Taipei and Taiwan is 1609 kilometers away in Kaohsiung. Uh, you can see that the distances are quite, this storm is quite out to sea, but as this storm continues to move west, the numbers are expected to grow smaller. Maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour by us. However, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center going as high as 50 miles per hour. However, uh, Expectedly, the GMA still hasn't called this a tropical storm yet, given that we haven't have a name, have a name yet. Here is the forecast track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Uh, their uh, intensity of 45 knots, which I translate to 50, 50 knot, 50 miles per hour, in our standards. Uh, however, the cone uh, said that uh, after some organization. This storm is expected to explosively deepen to a uh, low end category 4 storm with 140 miles per hour. So, this may be something that uh, we should be looking at. Sea surface temperature is relatively warm, around 28 to 30 degrees. Very favorable conditions for the storm to continue intensifying. While well, actually, the GFS model, which you're showing, which, uh, showing now, actually uh, confirms with these uh, sea surface temperature anomalies is you can see that the uh, storm continues to organize and then deepen its pressure around day 2 or day 3 or so uh, having reached even to a 950 millibar status so it is possible that we see another uh, tropical cyclone as intense as, as, uh, as uh, some maybe 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 a major typhoon status can be reached. Here's the multimodal diagnostic. It is still quite uh, early in the stages, though so not much. However, consensus are drawing closer to intensifying and maybe becoming a category three storm. Shear is expected to still come low. However, uh, when this storm moves west, the Blair shear is expected to uh, increase sea surface temperatures is expected to decrease as a matter of fact here is a zoom altimetry of a of 14w the philippines and taiwan and you can see that this storm is still currently not close to any land mass however that gave the chance for this storm to continue intensifying uh, as this storm continues to move west and organize itself we may be seeing another major cyclone out in the Western Pacific and obviously it's September, the worldwide tropics is waking up and we may see more and more systems like this. Maybe in the North Atlantic, the Eastern Pacific and now the Western Pacific. Stay tuned for more updates for Force 13 on this system.